Good morning from Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> I am so hyped to be here. It is Saturday, we arrived last night. We just went out for dinner and had a drink and it was really nice, but I woke up today at 5.30 um, and now it is eight o'clock and we're heading to Sajuki Fish Market. I've heard so much about it online, so I'm really excited to try all the different food there. And then we will probably head out to Ginza to do some shopping and I'm so excited. Um, so I will take you guys along. I'm just wearing a double denim outfit today. You'll see when we're out. And these earrings are from Etsy. So we headed to the station and got our Suica pass. You can get these at any major stations and I would highly recommend getting it because it's so, so convenient while you're in Tokyo and the public transport is really easy to use and very, very clean. So we got to Sajuki Fish Market. It's a market filled with loads of different food stores. So I'd highly recommend going because you can try so many delicious foods, but make sure you get that early because it does get busy towards the afternoon. So we just got a little custard. We had some tuna, which is amazing, which I showed you in the last clip. And now we've just got this custard for, no, for tuna. And it's got a little custard inside, so I'm really excited to try this. I've already had a little nibble of the so so good. What are your thoughts? Oh. So good, isn't it? It's hot. So nice. <laughs> That this is literally 30 seconds later, this is how much we're eating so quickly. But this is, we got the custard filled mochi and I'm so excited. Okay, let's try it. I don't know how to eat this. I'm gonna, this is strawberry. <laughs> that was strawberry. It's so good. And the mochi is like really like, really gooey. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had much like this before. That's probably so good. <laughs> oh, you just ate the whole show, thanks. <laughs> it's all over your mouth now, too. It was an accident. Oh my god, that's so good. So good. Oh, I like it. Oh no, it's so fluffy and like gooey. Amazing. But this place is just so cool. We are currently. We've eaten some bits in Suzuki Market and it was so good, but we're heading now to Inamakase place. It's like 10 a.m. but um, I feel, I've actually been up since 5 so <laughs> we're gonna have some omakase. It's rated really well so I'll definitely write the name down. And we got some tea and coffee. This is like, what was it? What was it? I don't know, butterfly tea. Butterfly tea from Thailand or something. It tastes like lemongrass, it's actually really, really good. Um, but anyway, we're trying to walk. It got really, really busy, so if you do come here, then you need to get here early. Um, we're just gonna walk past the restaurant. So we got to your Makase place just before it opened. It was called Motodane, and I would recommend getting to places before they open, maybe like 20 minutes before, just because there's always a bit of a queue and the places are really small to sit inside, so you kind of want to be the first ones to get in. We had some green tea as soon as we sat down. I love how they give this chew everywhere. And then we ordered a Omakase. We couldn't understand a thing on the menu, obviously, because it was all in Japanese, um, but we just shared this plate. We didn't want to order too much because we already ate quite a lot before, but it was so delicious, and I really loved the atmosphere. On the way to Ginza, we're kind of Tajuki, Tajuki, Tajuki Market, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's basically it's Tsukiji Market, it's a 10 minute walk from Ginza station, so we're going to go to Ginza now and do some shopping. Ginza's mostly fancy shopping, like designers, but I think they're, I don't, and like big shopping malls, so we're going to go and check it out. You can also get tax free shopping here, straight away upon purchase, which is really, really handy, you just have to sign up and get a QR code, which we've already done. After the fish market, we walked over to Ginza. It was only about a 15 minute walk and Ginza is known for its luxury shopping and just loads and loads of different types of shops. There's so much to look at. And if you want to go shopping, I would definitely go to Ginza. So this is the biggest Uniqlo in the world. And it is how many floors? How many? Eight? It is insane. Every single floor is Uniqlo. I just don't understand what they could have for eight floors of clothing, but let's see. I do love you, Chloe. Flowers? Are they flowers? It's actually 12 floors. 12 floors. Queen Kershaw. Wow. I'm in Uniqlo and they have these JW Anderson Uniqlo collab 
shirts and I think they're really cool. So I'm going to pick up a white one and a striped one. I can't tell if I like them or not but I think I do. <laughs> We just left Genza and now we're in Metisando because there's a lot of really good luxury vintage stores here. Um, and we have come to the famous Amor, Amore Vintage which have the most insane Chanel and Hermes collection. Um, I'm just so curious. Oh, it's upstairs. Well, but I know they have two many stores. Of them actually around here. Yeah. I don't know which one is the right one. But they look unreal. So we're just going to have a little browse around. Should we check? I think that one has clothes in. Yeah, let's go. Oh, the sun is out. Oh, what's this? Oh no, it's not a coffee shop. I like these side streets. I think they're really cute. The first vintage store we went to was a more vintage. This one is really famous. I've seen it all over Instagram and TikTok. Their bags are unreal. They have the best collections. I would definitely say it's more overpriced than the other ones just because they are more popular and they do have a good following on Instagram. However, all their bags are in such amazing condition. They have jewelry and loads of different accessories. They also have clothes as well. I tried on a couple of bags, but I didn't get anything. So we are still out. It is still the same day. We've literally been out since 8 a.m. this morning and now it is almost 6 o'clock and because we have an early dinner reservation we have to go straight there. We didn't have time to go home and change so we're heading to dinner. We're doing a, what's it called? A uh, kaiseki. A kaiseki and a sake pairing. Um, we're currently in Shibuya and Shibuya is super busy but there's always loads going on. Um, so yeah, we're just rushing to our reservation now. Um, and then I'll show you the food. I'm like a bit out sat down for dinner it was around eight seats in there so it was so quiet and we had around like six or seven courses overall the food was very raw and a bit strange for my palate but it was a really really nice experience and we had so much fun i mean walking back to the hotel it's pouring with rain but it is crazy look how busy it is and buzzy sure. So disappointing. Keychain, that's cute. I think that's that. What is that? What does that mean? As we were walking home, we came across the most insane department store that, let me tell you, sold absolutely everything from like food to electronics to bath soap to toilet roll everything i've never seen anything like it in my life and it was open 24 7 so we were just having so much fun looking at absolutely everything that they had to offer because obviously the supermarkets and what they offered was so different to what we get back in england they had every type of kit kat and it was just so much fun <laughs> you got the most boring flavor Look, tea. yeah but there's so many cool ones whoa i love it here i love it yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, hello, panda. So we've just seen there is black scorpion. It gets worse. Zebra tarantula. What else? Mixed pape, whatever that is. Disgusting. Mixed bugs. I dare you. How much, Tony? How much can I pay you? To have a zebra, how much should I pay you to eat that? <laughs> how much? A lot. How much? I need more. Not enough. I'll eat it for a Chanel bag. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys. It's not morning, but it's the first time I'm speaking today. So today we were 
And what did we do today? So we went for souffle pancakes, which mm -hmm. I will put a video in. They were so good, so really fluffy. Good. Um, yeah, it was really nice way to start the day. And then we just walked around Harajuku and Matsando again, just for like an hour. And then now we are in... Shino Kitazawa. Shino Kitazawa. Um, it is known for a lot of vintage shops. And it's quite like, it's much more neighborhoody. It's very quiet. Um, but it's quite kind of. Oh, it's like a French restaurant. Oh, it looks like a cute little Parisian restaurant now. Um, but there's loads of shops and coffee shops and restaurants. We literally just sat at the most amazing pizza place. It was like a little neighborhood restaurant. I found it on Google, had a really good review, so we went and had the most amazing pizzas. Um, I'll show you a video of what they look like. We, I literally eat pizza, eat pizza for a living, and that was up there with some of the best I've ever had. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. Um, we're just trying to find out all the shops, but there are just so many cool places around here. Um, it's much more quiet, as I said. Look at that wine bar. Oh, so cute, like look at that. Just a little pretty wine bar on the corner. But the plan for after this is we have to, we're checking into a new hotel. So we're gonna go back to our old hotel, collect the luggage and then go to our new hotel, which is exciting. And then tonight we are going to Shinjuku for dinner and then we're gonna go out for like a little, some drinks after, because Shinjuku is known for its nightlife. We're not gonna go out, out, but um, there are some really cool bars, so we we'll check it out. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys a bit more of this area we're in once we get there. Oh look, it's a head, look. That's, her, oh, that's okay. why it's so online. Okay. So you literally enter one street and there's just loads of shops. So it's there, and then we have some side streets there. And we have food here. Where should we go? Don't know. I think there. Really? Yeah, because it says Shimo Kitazawa. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. If you like vintage shopping, you need to come here. There is so many stores. We just went in a few because I was just not in that rummaging mood, but you need to come here and be in the right mindset to hunt for vintage pieces because there was so many clothes, Levi's jeans and all of that kind of stuff. Good evening, guys. So last time I spoke to you, I was saying that we're going to go check into a new hotel and we have checked in to the Andaz in, God, I never know how to pronounce it, Tower Mina Hill. Oh, here's your Taramina. Anyway, we've checked into the Andaz, um, and it's such a nice hotel. So I'm gonna quickly give you a little room tour. I've already made a bit of a mess, but I'm gonna show you the last because it's amazing. So we are in a king suite with a Tokyo Tower view, which is insane. So let's start here. Guys, I'm going back for a slip bag situation. I don't know what I look like. But anyway, let's, we do this. So you enter the main door and you come in and here is the closet. And then you come in here and that is the bathroom. Hello. I, yeah. And then we have a massive shower and bath. It's huge. And then you come through here to the most incredible view. Not you. No, um, the most incredible view here. We can literally see the whole of Tokyo and the gorgeous Tokyo Tower right there. And that's an even pretty sunset. So we, with the room we get some complimentary drinks at six o'clock. So we actually need to go right now. Um, and then we're gonna head to Shinjuku to go out. It's like loads of bars, like I mentioned earlier. And we're gonna get some dinner. So I'm really excited. So. So we got to Shinjuku and it was crazy there. You just see all the crazy lights and just exactly how you imagine Tokyo to be. We found this little izakaya and I literally just ate a rice bowl because I don't eat meat, but my boyfriend said the food was delicious and the vibe is just so cool. It's really casual, really good food and just a really nice overall atmosphere. After we ate, we went to a few drinking streets, let's say, and their main one is called Golden Guy, which was so fun. It's basically streets filled with loads of different bars that mainly just seat around eight people and it's just so fun to go from bar to bar. And after that, we ended up at this little karaoke place. I'm muting it because I don't want to be embarrassed. It was like eight people singing and it was just so fun. <laughs> Good 
morning guys so we are currently in a taxi on the way to our next hotel in Tokyo we're gonna stay there for one night and this morning we had a really nice breakfast in the room mm. and today our plan is to go to Shibuya right um. We're going to an area in Shibuya called Daikanyama, I think if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we're just going to walk around. And tonight we have a dinner reservation at a place called Sushi, Sushi Show Masa, which is a going to be a omakase, which is going to be exciting. around Daikayama. Um, I did some vintage shopping. I got some two really really cool pieces so I'm really excited. So the vintage stores around here are much more, I feel like the collection's more unique and less curated so you can find some gems. Yeah, The, the vintage stores in the Misano were a bit more... Are we going the right way? You literally have to use maps to go everywhere here so make sure you have internet and Google Maps on your phone otherwise you're not going to survive. So this area is really nice. It feels more residential, but really upmarket. Apparently they compare it to Chelsea and London, but the stores are really, really cool, so it's definitely worth coming here. Now we're walking to Meguru. I'm going to a famous coffee shop there, which looks really nice. We want a really refreshing drink, so we went to a vending machine, and I was like, oh, that iced tea looks nice. We're craving like a really nice ice cold iced tea, and it came out hot. Came out boiling hot of a vending machine. Like, how does that even? In a plastic bottle. In a plastic bottle, it's boiling. How does that even work? Um, but it tastes good. I'm just really not in the mood for a hot tea. It's a really hot day. Um, but now I know if this, if there's a red sign above the drink, it means it's a hot drink, and if it's a blue sign, it means it's cold. It's a little. So to end the day, we went back to the hotel, got changed, had a drink on our rooftop bar, which is so nice. Like, look how amazing this view was. And then we headed to Sushi Show Masa and had literally about 40 courses of all different types of fish. I don't even want to know what I ate, um, but it was absolutely amazing and it was such a good experience. And I'm going to end the Tokyo vlog there. I will see you in part two.